everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Fejiro Iwo and I'm an artist and fashion illustrator based in Lagos Nigeria so in today's video I'm going to be coloring this sketch that I made some days back why I have a chit chat with you all about female friendships this video is very exciting for me because I've never done something like this on my channel um, I'm going to be sharing my experiences with female friendships, my opinions on female friendships, and I'm also going to be sharing some female podcasts, yeah, that feed me. So if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure that you do that, share this video with your friends and other artists that you think will find it helpful, and also give this video a thumbs up. Before we get to the friendship chat, let's just talk briefly about what inspired me to make this illustration so i was on pinterest and i saw this picture of these three beautiful ladies together and immediately i saw it i knew that i wanted to draw it and god has been helping me so much with my art recently because i normally do not know how to draw poses but these days i've been doing more poses and they've been looking good to me so i'm making a video on that watch out for that also so yeah immediately i saw it i knew that i was going to draw this particular picture because it looks so good although i changed the dresses i changed um the hairstyles but i still like how everything turned out at the end of the day and when i saw that picture and i saw the three ladies together i knew that i wanted to film the entire process of me drawing this picture today and also talk about female friendships while i was doing this draw with me video I've always been a girl's girl. I don't know if that's because I went to an all-girls school, but I love to have female friends. And anytime I hear another woman say something like, Oh, I don't like female friendships. Uh, I don't like girlfriends. There are a lot of drama. I don't know. I've just never subscribed to that idea because I believe that there are a lot of things that we go through as women and we need to talk to somebody about and... I don't know, I just do not think there is any way a guy would be able to relate to what you're going through. So I've always been somebody that value female friendships. Yes. And honestly, I don't think I've had any really ugly experience with my friendships, my female friendships. And that's because I'm somebody that is very selective. I protect my space. So I will not just let anybody come into my space. Before I could say, oh, I'm friends with somebody. There are certain things that I look out for. There are certain values that I hold high. And I have to see that you have the same values too. So I don't just let anybody come into my life and I just say, oh, we're friends. And then we just begin to move and mm -mm. that doesn't work for me. So I've not really had any ugly experience, although I've had several misunderstandings with my girlfriends, which I think is very normal, actually. That's why when I hear people say things like, female friendships are so difficult to manage, I begin to wonder what relationship actually is easy to manage. I believe that friendships, relationships in general, take a lot of work. And also misunderstandings are bound to happen in any relationship. I believe that what matters is how both parties involved try to remedy the whole situation. And this leads me to a point that is very important. I've noticed that with most people, they like to avoid uncomfortable conversations. And one thing that people should know is that uncomfortable conversations is what actually help a friendship to grow. When you have these conversations, you tend to learn more about the other person. And in the long run, you will just see that because of these things that were said in this conversation, I've found a way to understand this person better. And I found a way to um, make compromises to ensure that the friendship lasts or we can build the friendship from here. So most people tend to avoid uncomfortable conversations. They just try to manage the whole friendship when they have something that bothers them or something that they do not like. They just try to manage it because they don't want to be seen as the problematic person or they don't want to start up a fight or something. But like I said before, I believe that one way for friendships to grow is when you people are constantly talking about um 
your friendships you are trying to have those conversations and you are not just making up assumptions in your head you are trying to seek for clarity for me i've not really had any ugly experiences with my female friends i just have the normal squabble misunderstandings that friends usually have although i've had this one friendship where we i had like a friendship breakup yes i had a friendship breakup that lasted for like an entire year and it was really crazy because this person was somebody that was my girl she was really close to me and then we had a misunderstanding and it just continued to get worse because we didn't talk about it like I said before, I was trying to manage the entire situation. I feel like she was also trying to manage the entire situation. And then we just fell out and it lasted for an entire year. And it's also crazy because this person was also my classmate. So I was seeing this person every single day, but then we were not friends. And I'm really grateful to God that he just made it happen that we were able to fix up our um our situation. <laughs> I like to call it a situation because it really was a situation. Yes, I'm really grateful to God that he used somebody to help us fix our situation. And that's something I also want to touch on. If you see that you... If you have mutual friends that have a misunderstanding or they fell out, I believe that if you are feeling led to help them remedy their situation, I believe that you should step up and do it. So there was this post that Tommy Ken made on Vicky James's birthday. If you don't know these people I'm about to mention, they are really amazing Nigerian women and you can check them out on Instagram. Apparently, Vicky James had a fight with um, Adefunke and they had this fight for four years and they blocked each other everywhere and long story short tomike helped them to reconcile and she helped like fix their relationship and when tomike made that post it just really made me feel so happy because i understand that sometimes when two people have a misunderstanding or they have a fight they both want to fix the situation but they are just so tired they want the situation to be fixed but they don't know how to do it they don't know how to go about it and at that point they might not even have any energy again to try and remedy the whole situation so if you feel like god is leading you to help some people reconcile their friendship i feel like you should go for it and just help them get back together initial plan for this video was to come here and just talk about female friendships but while i was planning for this video i just felt to share with you all some of the podcasts i listened to that helped me grow as a woman and that also helped me to look at things from a different perspective and to just have a different view on topics relating to femininity female friendships and womanhood in general i would have loved to talk briefly about this podcast but i can't do that because i don't want this video to be very long so i'm just going to leave the links to each of these channels in my description box below so that you can check them out so the first on my list is for the girls then to my sisters and wisdom and wellness with Pumi, women of tomorrow the magnify conversations the boss babe podcast that's funny she's in a pod the dr daff show and girl to woman if you have other podcast recommendations revolving around femininity um womanhood female friendships you can also leave a comment down below and let us know this podcast <music> when we as women find our circle we find our tribe of other women that support us and want to see us grow and just wishes us the best personally i don't think i have a circle i don't know how to put this i don't think i belong to any clique of women or i have this set of female friendships that 
all of us are together in a clique and we're just friends. I don't think I have that. But I'm friends with a lot of really solid people, a lot of really solid girls that I'm always, always grateful for and I always make sure to tell it to them. I have different individual friends. Some of them know each other, but I don't know if to classify ourselves as... Okay, we're not a clique, but I think we're a tribe. Yeah, I think we are. I think I do have that, definitely. I'm always grateful for these women and I just pray that for every woman out there, you find your own circle of people that want to see you grow and that wishes you the best and would call your name in places where um there are opportunities for you yeah so that's pretty much all i have to say in this video today at this point i was almost done with this piece i really love how this thing turned out honestly like can you see the way i rendered your hair especially the jerry call in the middle i don't know how i managed to pull that off i don't even think i've done something like that before but i really love how it turned out then i went ahead to get some quotes from pinterest that i really love about female friendships i went ahead to get this quote and i just wrote them around on this um piece and honestly as with every one of my other works i love how this one turned out and that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video if you love this video if you want me to do something like this in future make sure to leave a comment down below give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you've not done that yet until next time bye